A man dressed as Santa goes on a murder spree across... Wait, didn't we see this already? Annyeong Hasu and welcome to Awful Advent, a count on the 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santos, and our fourth film is not only a sequel to our second film, it's mostly made up of clips from it. It's 1987's Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. A young man relates the tale of his older brother dressing up as Santa and going on a murder spree. Now it's Christmas Eve and our subject wants to finish the work his brother started. Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2 is one of the strangest movie experiences you can have. We're used to cheap sequels to slasher movies repeating what was done before, but this takes it to another level. When I reviewed the first movie two days ago, I talked about the constant flashbacks to the murder of Billy and Ricky's parents, establishing this franchise's habit of recycling previously shown footage, and this movie runs with it. The first 40 minutes of the movie are spent showing clips from the first movie with a bit of commentary, so we get to see, in shortened form, how young Billy, on the way home from a Christmas Eve visit to his grandfather, witnesses a man dressed as Santa murder his parents. The trauma from this event causes him years later to go on a murder spree dressed as the jolly old elf himself. All of this is told by Ricky, Billy's younger brother. After a compilation of all the murders from the first movie, we get more flashbacks, but at least these are to the story of Ricky, but not Ricky O. He grew up to go on a murder spree that landed him in the institution where he is presently telling his story to a court-appointed psychologist, a murder spree that included the storied... Garbage day! Huh? No! He finally escapes to go on his own Christmas Eve murder spree, the very thing we'd come to the movie to see, 75 minutes into the film. The movie is 88 minutes long. If you factor in the closing credits, the actual Killer Santa part of this Killer Santa movie may be shorter than the end all through the house short in Tales from the Crypt. I should note that, during the flashback to his own murder spree, Ricky goes to the movies where he watches the start of the first movie. After spending 40 minutes recapping the first movie, this movie literally sits down to start watching it. This isn't a movie. It's a paper tossed together the night before it was due by someone who forgot they'd ever signed up for the course. And this was released in theaters. In theaters. The producers wanted to do a proper sequel about the younger brother going on a killing spree, but budgetary constraints forced them to cut more and more corners until they ended up with this. It's not good. It's as bad as the first movie, but bad in such wholly unique and amazing ways that I can't not recommend it. It's terrible, but oh so much fun. 2.5 out of 5 Killer Clauses Collaging Clips. Tomorrow we settle in for another famously bad movie, but watched with a famous pair to help it go down a little more easily. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.